certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, good Saturday morning, mid-Michigan. We're keeping an eye on several things as we go throughout our weekend here, and it starts today with the wind, also the warmth, and a few rain chances for your Saturday. As you can see out over the Birch Run camera here, we do have some gusty winds, keeping that big flag there on I-75 uh, pretty, pretty straight out there. We do have winds currently gusting roughly between 20 and 25 miles per hour. We're getting close to the 30 mark for some places out there as well. We do have winds uh, more or rather quick enough from the south to actually bring up a lot of warmth. We're seeing uh, the the lower 50s for a lot of mid Michigan for this time of the morning. That's pretty warm and within the last uh, update here of our temperatures, we've actually started to increase some of that warmth. We do make it towards the middle 50s as we go into the late part of our morning going into the early part of the afternoon. Now, it's not the middle of the afternoon that we're going to be at our warmest. It's going to be earlier in the day because we've got a cold front moving through as we go into the early afternoon hours. So we're going to take those middle 50s by around noon ish and drop them down into the upper 40s by the time we make it to 4 p.m. So usually when we're our warmest closer to 2 and 3 o'clock is not going to be the case for us today because of the cold front moving through with that cold front. We also have some of the gustier winds. So this is all a part of that storm system that we've been talking about since last weekend moving through for this weekend. Uh, the bulk of the precipitation thankfully it's going to be missing us off to the east so we're not worried about big rain or big snow or anything of that nature but we're still feeling the wind uh, from this storm system and also the warmth uh, because of that wind so we've got our southerly winds here ahead of the cold front behind the cold front we're out of the west so that means a couple of things one we've got a big wind change and two that wind change is likely going to bring a change in our temperatures as we transition into Sunday so winds out of the south bringing us the warmth for today cold front starts to move through as we go into the early afternoon taking those winds uh, up to about 40 to 45 miles per hour. After that cold front sweeps through, winds now out of the west for us, west to southwest or so. And we do have, um, we're looking at more about 15 to 20 mile per hour winds, so closer to where they typically are as far as gusts go as we go into this evening. Into the overnight hours, one thing to keep in mind here is that the wind shift isn't too drastic. We're still out of the west southwest or so here, but we do pick them back up going into the overnight hours, 15 to 20, possibly up to 25 miles per hour. We do maintain that going into parts of your Sunday as well, I think some of our maximum gusts on Sunday will likely be around 30 miles per hour. For your wind alerts, we do have a wind uh, advisory in place until 6 p.m. for the shaded counties on your map, and that's again because of those winds. But of course, we're also keeping an eye on some of the shower reactivity. Here's your first alert pinpoint Doppler right now. We have a few of those showers uh, starting to move into mid Michigan from the southwest there on the lower left hand side of your screen. They're very light, really just a few sprinkles, not causing major issues for us. Your hour by hour shows a few of those showers moving through. This is 1 p.m. as the cold front is starting to make its way towards uh, parts of the Saginaw Bay near the Tri-Cities and also near the Flint area sweeping from west to, to east. And here's that cold front now past us to the east and we've got drier conditions and even some clearing conditions attempting to move in for a short time going into this evening before more clouds move in and a chance for snow showers takes over the forecast going into Sunday. It's going to be cooler tomorrow. Of course, behind that cold front, we're looking at temperatures only making it into the middle and upper 30s and we'll have a few of those passing flurries moving through, maybe mixed with a few sprinkles as we go into your Sunday. We'll cool off back down to below freezing as we go into Sunday night into Monday. But then through the rest of the week, we really only have Tuesday here that we're really worried about at this at this point in time. And really, it's not even a big impact here, but we are keeping an eye on a chance for a few light snow showers. Other than that, uh, decent chances for sunshine with temperatures trying to warm back towards the 40s as we make it towards the end of the week.